Hey everyone, today let us try solving the problem the number of weak characters in the game. So, we are given an array, uh, a 2D integer array called properties, and uh, where properties of i contains attack of i in the first position and the defense of i in the second position. So, we basically have n characters in the array and each character has an attack as well as a defense score associated with it and we are asked to count the number of weak characters so what are weak characters a character is said to be weak if any other character has both attack le levels and defense levels strictly greater than this character's attack and defense levels so what this means is for a, any given character we just need to find at, like at least one other character that has attack and defense levels strictly greater than this character's attack and defense levels and uh, we are basically asked to return the count of the characters so this is the problem constraints and uh, from the problem constraints you can probably guess that we are heading towards a, a o order of n log n solution and how do we solve this if there were like no huge constraints so what we would end up doing is exactly what the question asks us to that is for every character we just try to find at least one strong character that is for every character we just try to find another character for every character i we just try to find another character j where attack of j is greater than attack of i and defense of j is greater than de defense of i and if we can find even one that's good enough we just like add that to our count of weak characters so we just uh, the character i is going to be weak in that case note that a character can be weak with respect to several other characters but we do, do you know, we do not care about the rest even if we can find this one we are done we are good so as you can see this approach is not good enough and it's going to take order of n squares time how do we do better can sorting help and if we were to sort it do we sort it based on the attack levels or the defense levels let's say we go with sorting based on increasing attack in this case how do we basically calculate the number of uh, weak characters? So we uh, see we are iterating through the array and uh, we are at this element, uh, 310. So will this actually mean that everything to the left of me are weak? Well, in this case, yes, but it need not be. Let's say this element was 1, 100 uh, instead. So in that case, 100 is actually not a weak character with respect to 310. So everything to the left of me need not be weak. So in that case, I, my calculation does become slightly complex. And uh, I'll have to uh, remove certain elements to the left of uh, me that aren't weak. And, uh, and as I'm iterating through the array, I also have to ensure that I do not calculate, I do not count the same weak character multiple times. Uh, for example, uh, this character uh, say 1 2 is weak with respect to 310 is weak with respect to uh, 4 3 and so on so i shouldn't count 1 2 multiple times so as you can sense uh, sorting based on increasing attack uh, makes it slightly complex at least the way we would compute it so what if we actually sort based on decreasing attack so in that case our array would look something like this and uh, how does this help you may ask uh, so let's say if i were at element 77 seven, and uh, everything to the left of me will have an attack value that is greater than or equal to mine and uh, and if i do come across a value of defense that is greater than mine then i know that this character is weak but there's a small catch and and you can actually uh, catch it with 
respect to 98 and 97 so as i am actually i trading through the area and i land on 97 i ask myself is 97 weak uh well 97 isn't weak uh even though i do have a defense level that is greater than me but i do not have an attack level that is greater than me uh so 97 cannot be weak and is there a smart way to work around this problem so so our big aha moment here is we just sort based on decreasing attack that works we just sort it based on increasing defense as well increasing defense in the case when the attack elements are equal Now this is our big aha moment because now we realize that along with sorting it based on decreasing levels of attack, we also sort it based on increasing levels of defense when the attack values are equal. For example, since 9 and 9 are equal, uh, I also sort it based on increasing levels of defense. So I sort it initially based on decreasing levels of attack and then when the values are of attack are equal, then I sorted based on increasing levels of defense. Now, how does this help? Well, this helps because if I have come across a value of defense that is greater than mine, so let's say in the case of 73, if I've come across a value of defense as I've been iterating, if I've come across a value of defense that is greater than mine, so let's say if I come across a value of 10, that means it cannot come from any character with 7 since I have sorted it based on increasing levels of defense. So it cannot come from any character with an attack uh, attacking value of 7. It must come from a character which has an attacking level that is strictly greater than mine. So that addresses the problem of defense values coming from characters with the same attacking levels. And since we've kind of custom sorted based on these two properties anytime we come across a value of defense that is greater than my current defense value then that means my character my character is weak so so far when the attacking levels are same we have found out a way to overcome that but will our logic be able to handle handle duplicates as well so in this case, let's say I have one five multiple times. So as you can see, if I do come across a defense level that is strictly greater than mine, then one five is going to be weak. So in this case, of course, there are several characters with defense levels greater than five and uh, to the left of me. So in this case, one five is weak and every duplicate value of one five is going to be weak as well. In fact, uh, you, you can just keep a count of one five and then uh, increase the number of uh, weak characters by that count because if any one of the value happens to be a weak character, then all the all the copies of this the same value is going to be a weak character as well. As you can see, uh, no duplicates do not affect our uh, working logic. So let's do a dry run of the same. Uh, we start with nine seven. Initially, uh, max t is going to be set to zero because every value of att attack and defense according to the constraints are going to start with one so in this case no max t is not greater than seven so this cannot be weak again no character to the left of me has a defense value greater than my current defense value so this cannot be weak as well how about 810 there is again no character with a defense value that is greater than 10. So 810 cannot be weak as well. How about 73? We did come across a character that has a defense value greater than mine. So 73 is weak. Is 77 weak? Yes, 77 is weak as well because we did come across a character with a defense level greater than 7. By the same logic, 03 will be weak as well. How about 310? Well, 8 has an attack value greater than 3, but 
the defense level is a tie. So since our constraints uh, given the question says it has to be strictly greater, so 310 cannot be weak as well. We move on and 1, 2 is weak because 10 is greater than 2. So we did have a defense level that is greater than 2 and we do have a defense level greater than 5. And since 1, 5 happens to be weak, every duplicate value, every duplicate copy of 1, 5 will be weak as well. And that concludes our algorithm. So in total, we have six weak characters in our given array. So let's begin. As discussed, I'm going to sort properties based on decreasing levels of attack and increasing levels of defense. So the way I would do that uh, in Python would be using the key parameter and uh, some lambda magic. So uh, since I want decreasing levels of attack, I would negate the first value. And uh, since I want increasing defense, I'll keep the second one positive. So this is how I uh, sort based on decreasing attack. And uh, when they're equal, uh, I then sort it based on increasing levels of defense. That's how it's done. And once this is done, the rest of the problem is quite simple. So I simply uh, iterate through the array. And before that, I also have to keep track of the maximum value of defense I've come across to the left of me. Uh, I'm setting it as zero because uh, the constraints of attack and defense uh, start with one. So the maximum defense I've come across to the left before I begin iterating would be zero. And uh, if this value happens to be greater than my current defense value, then that means I'm weak. So let's also keep a variable to keep track of the weak characters and I simply iterate when max t is greater than d. That is, I've come across a value of defense to the left of me that is greater than my current defense level. So that means I have to be weak. And I just simply update the value of max t, that is the defense level I've come across so far as I'm iterating through the array. And that's pretty much it. If I do come across a value of defense to the left of me that is greater than my current level, then I have to be weak. That is, the i-th character has to be weak. Just pause for a moment and uh, try to convince yourself why that would work with more test cases perhaps. And let's try running our code. As you can see, this works. And there you go. If this was helpful, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.